all good? Yep. yep. Perfect. All right. What's next on the list? All right, so obviously myself and Michael Robertson, first group Special Forces is obviously well versed in the uh, PACOM area, which you know in involves uh, all of Southeast Asia. But obviously the two main wars that we were fighting, which were Iraq and Afghanistan, he and myself, uh, I think he's been to Iraq and Afghanistan, I've been to Afghanistan myself, and all throughout uh, Southeast Asia. But obviously there are war on terrorism, and there are terrorist cells all throughout Asia, there are terrorist cells uh, obviously within the, the major wars that we're fighting, which is Oper Operation Inherent Resolve, then you have Freedom Sentinel and Resolute Support going on in Afghanistan, to which uh, myself and Mike have done quite a bit of time there as well. And what we've realized is that a lot of guys, uh, you know, don't have an issue, you know, fighting that war and, 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 and bringing the battle to the enemy, right? Mm -hmm. It's typically whenever they get home and they find themselves in an environment that is, uh, far more different than the one whenever they left it, right? So they come home and they realize that the transition period or, or coming at home, not being able to, uh, I don't know, I guess be in the same fight as they were whenever they were out there. So yeah. typically a lot of times people find themselves getting depressed because they can't relate with one another. And that's why, honestly, with our company, Caillou, we've, we've actually not only done a lot of things in the civilian sector, but now we're actually gearing towards working more towards um, you know, giving back to the veteran community. And what we want to do is we want to link veterans together so that way they can find people to that are going through the same struggles, find people to relate with and, and connect veterans uh, basically in the simplest way possible. And the nice thing about the Kayo deal, from my understanding, is you can be very selective on exactly what kind of dudes you want to hang out with. And explain how that deal works, kind of. Yeah, absolutely. So with Kayo, we... Obviously, when we first started out, we realized that not only, uh, it, which is a big case in the veteran community, which is kind of how our situation happened, was that um, we ourselves are two veterans, and we found ourselves always on the weekend wanting to go and do certain things to kind of get out of the, uh, the military post area and branch out and see our environment around us. And we realized that, hey, people right now are not connecting with, with one another based on mutual interests, right? Uh, a lot of times you have to you're limited to the network that's around you your friends your family if I want to go up to DC I have to stay with my sister who lives there um, if I want to go to the beach I'm having to fork out a thousand dollars for a hotel for four days because that's the type of you know that, that's the type of funding that you have to have in order to do that and as soldiers um, as much as we'd like to get paid the big bucks uh, typically we don't right so we're all the time trying to come up with different ways to cut costs and uh, what we realize is that we can create symbiotic relationships amongst people to really enhance their quality of life. Mm -hmm. And then from that, we also realize that not only linking people up just for cost efficiency, mm -hmm. but linking people up that are basically going through the same struggles. You know, in 2011, I actually lost my son, right? And I found myself not wanting to open up to other people unless they too have been through the same tragedy. Same thing with uh, team guys who have lost a brother downrange. Um, we sit there and we have to go through these processes and we talk to counselors, we talk to therapists, but a lot of times we find ourselves holding back on sure. on the real issues and not wanting to open up because we feel like they can't relate, right? Yeah. But if I sit there and I find another brother like Mike and it's like, hey man, you know, a, a time or two we both have been choked up where it's like, you know, he told me about a couple buddies he's lost, blue on green. I've lost a couple buddies like my, my good friend Matt McClintock. Um, and, and Marja in a mission that we were working on and it's like you know unless you've been through there unless you've seen what we've seen done what we've done you don't understand you can't really so that's really what we're trying to do here and, and we're not only working with with uh, with, with other veterans we're, we're trying to get all of these different nonprofits with the same goal in mind which is linking veterans together you know mission 22 yep. you know Oscar Mike all these other different groups that we're working with trying to bring all of their people together laterally and it's the same issue if you really look at big businesses if they want to actually which is why we've talked with you know Spartan race which is like hey link your consumers together mm -hmm. and create that symbiotic relationship you know I got peanut butter you got jelly let, let's make a sandwich yeah. type of deal you know yeah, what I mean? in, in the lamest way to say it. well and one thing that's interesting too just so folks understand like I think that when you're in the brotherhood in when you're working right absolutely you're working with guys who are there to counsel you when you need to you can take a guy aside and you have that fellowship but once you get away 
and you go home, you're kind of like isolated. Yeah, exactly. By yourself. Yeah, guys and gals, they'll, they'll you know serve for five, twenty years, forty years. They'll get out. They'll go back to what you know it's their hometown or wherever it is they end up in the United States, and they find themselves working in a, you know Starbucks or in a corporate building, and more than more than likely, their coworkers aren't going to be able to relate to uh, anything they've done while in the service, right? So. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do: is giving them an effective means to be able to find others in their area by simply typing in the, uh, the interest of veteran, and boom, pulls them up right there. Now I can they can tap into a network or even Maintain build their own those network. Relationships right. that you've formed out there, in in a way that's more concise without all the BS that comes in on some of the other social media platforms. Absolutely, this is a lot more personal and refined and like zeroed in exactly on who you select. The yep. key here is that. All other social media platforms, they do nothing other than link you up digitally, yeah. right? What we do is we fucking refine that and we bring people in so that way they can link up in person, right? Yeah. People right now, they don't have a way to effectively, simply communicate and link up based on the interest or the struggles that they're going through. And actually, in, it's set up and kind of focused in on creating the actual real analog relationship by using the digital means to get them to be able to meet up together, share absolutely housing, the, transportation, everything's built into that deal. 100%. We, we find ourselves as a facilitator for human connection as opposed to as though, as and if you notice with Facebook's model as what they've been trying to dial back to, they say we want to dial back to the simplest way as to what we started, which was linking people together. But it's 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 so convoluted and it's gotten so deep. Well, that they, they keep can't. them in the matrix too, man. Absolutely, they don't get out of the matrix, and then it actually makes you more depressed. But why is that? You know why? It's because whenever they go on there, they're not linking up with people. They're just becoming, and I equate this all the time to the networking section that we have on our app, which yep. is they're becoming jealous of that feed. You sit there and you see how, and, and people do it all the time. People will sit there and they'll post stuff about you know how great their life is, how great their marriage is, how great everything <laughs> in their life is going. But yeah. in reality, they're sitting at home and they're just as depressed as you are. But what we do is we allow you to link up with that person. There's no time where your opinion goes on the app. There's no time where your, you know, your picture goes on there telling people how great your day was and the hope that they had a bad one. No, what we want to do is link you up with other people of the same interest so that way you two can create a great relationship and one that will last. And if you guys rate each other, which yeah. is one of the, you know, the vetting process that we have, you rate each other, you add each other to the network, now one degree of separation i can see everyone that you've ever hung out with you can see everyone i've ever hung yeah. out with and then that will then increase the amount of people that we actually connect with and it'll increase your network to where it's like hey you know what i can go to denver this week because i know somebody that knows somebody and then guess what boom so now you're saving money it's saving it's using that digital power of social media quote unquote to focus in and create real relationships rather than right. replace relationships online in the pretend land. One of the age-old questions we always ask people is, we go, how many Facebook friends do you have? And they're like, oh, 13,000. I have you know, 47,000 <laughs> followers yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. How many people do you hang out with in the real world? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, it's like, And they don't. Yeah, but that's what we're gonna change the world with. Is that we're gonna not only you know save veterans' lives, hopefully, by by linking them together with other. And it doesn't have to be hey because you're struggling too. Right. It could just be hey I'm just want to find another veteran because I know that hey, when it gets down to it, when we go hang out, this dude probably has seen what I've seen. Someone right. can relate. Exactly. So it's all we're primarily about preventing people from getting that point to consider and taking their life, you know, because now they're, they have a, a means. A preemptive strike. Right. Yeah. A means to actually jump into a network that they, they can relate to and then in hopes to prevent them from getting to that point. Yeah, and I mean, that, and you could, like you were saying before, you connect all these different outfits. Like, I got a buddy who's, uh, he was a 12 Bravo, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got a little deal where he takes dudes golfing, for example. Exactly. And it's like a one-on-one -on -one ministry kind of deal, and the, he's like, I mean, he's patient too. You can call him at like four in the morning and be like, dude, I'm like, you're looking out the windows or whatever, like pulling down the window shades, having one of those, and you call him and he's there for you. Absolutely. That's what sometimes the people, especially in, you know, sometimes you go home and you're not surrounded by these guys anymore. And so ministries like that can all link together right. for that common cause and actually get together. So make no mistake about it. People are doing what we're doing, right? Churches are doing it. 
groups are doing it. Yep. Nonprofits are doing it. But the one thing that we pride ourselves on is that we're going to take everybody's tiny little efforts and we're offering a platform that these people can use to make it a collective effort to yep. link every single veteran together yep. to do what linkedin was supposed to do for business to do that for veterans to to do what facebook was supposed to do for people and do it for the real world yeah that's what our cause one is. thing too that i find valuable in my opinion is the selectivity that you can put on there so like if you want to Everyone's experience is unique. As we come to find out is that everybody has their own internal struggles, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it was you didn't get to do what you wanted to do, yep. get to perform the way you wanted to perform because yep. you found yourself in that situation. Whether it was you, you, you got scared, whether it was you, you did too much. You know, everybody yep. has their own internal struggles. So the way that it works is right now what we're trying to do is just link as simple as possible, right? As soon as you try to get too complicated with everything by by adding in things, it, it makes it to where it's a deterrent, right? Mm -hmm. We want, initially, we just want veterans to link with veterans, right? And so we know when we start offering in these other platforms, or not other platforms, but other um, parameters, yeah. parameters, which is like uh, having counselors on there and our Caillou Black subscription model to where they'll be able to reach out to them as well if they need to talk to somebody if they're truly in a dark mm -hmm. time. But we just want to keep it very simple. Well, that's what Caillou is. Okay. A very simple platform. And, and in doing so, we realize that networking should be simple and that networking should be very easy for everybody to do. And at that point, you get to make your own uh, judgment as to how many people you want to add to your network or don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hung out with that guy. Maybe we weren't the, maybe we weren't the, the most compatible. Great. No harm, no foul. I'm going to hang out with the next guy. Mm -hmm. So on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And that way you build up your network. You build up your rating profile. And then in time, it'll be one of the best networking capabilities that the United States has. Yeah. And internationally as well. I find myself as a, you know a middle wage person that doesn't ever get to experience that highlight of Vegas, right? Because right. I don't have that money. Yeah. Now I can link myself with three other middle class dudes that aren't in that same high roller type status. Yep. Link them together so that they can go increase their quality of life yeah. and on a positive note. You know what yeah. I mean? Like hey, linking people together so they can expand their budget. Yeah. That's what we want. Yeah. And so there's a deal on there where they can do like transportation, right? Right. So the way it's not necessarily transportation, but what it is is it's linking people together to split costs, right? And it's not only uh, splitting like travel costs, splitting car uh, ride sharing. It's um, uh, linking people together. For example, you could be from Boston, you're from Miami, I'm from New York. We all want to go to Las Vegas for this big you know, mm -hmm. shot show, for example, right? Now we can all link together, get an Airbnb, because what happens during big events? During SHOT Show, during EDC, during all these big type events that every city runs, lodging is always skyrocketing. Why? It's simple supply and demand. As, as we know that with a city that's having a lot of all these hotels and all these different Airbnbs, they raise their prices because they know people have to have lodging during this time. Well, we're going to cut them off on that road because we're going to link our trailer together so that way at that point we can go ahead and save money that way. Right? Instead of me just going... Like, oh man, it just cost me 1500 bucks to be able to go and have a good time yeah. in Las Vegas. No, no. And if I, you only knew that other guy would have existed, he could have linked up and exactly. had a, a the guy could Exactly. The guy could be across the hall from me in your apartment. And you never knew it. You don't even know. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Right? But that's the whole point of Caillou is that there are so many people within your own city, and as small as Cameron is, there are people in this neighborhood. I look back, you pass a million different houses just going to my own house. And I guarantee if something like Caillou was implemented on a national scale, I guarantee I could find lots of buddies that love the same things that I love and have a lot more friends. Real friends.
<laughs> real life crap. Real life. Let's go hang out. Let's grab a beer at the wing company and have a good time tonight. Instead of me just sitting back, you know, ordering Domino's and watching Netflix for the thousandth time. No, we want to get people. Deeper into the get, hole. Exactly. Get them out of the rabbit hole. Get them out and freaking have a good time. Even if you're, a, and we tell Caillou's for everybody. Even if you're a nerd. Even if you're somebody that likes Comic Cons. If you're somebody that plays chess. It, no, it's for you, man. Because all I have to do is find that compatible partner for you. Mm -hmm. That compatible person. Hey, I want to go play chess. Hey, I love magic cards. Hey, I love role playing in the woods with freaking fake foam swords. I don't care what you do. <laughs> and, and, you know, we can all laugh, but everybody loves the weird things that they love. And, and I am so passionate about linking people up with the people that love what they love. I, I promise you to this day, I'll go fucking foam sword it out there all day long as long as I know that I'm linking people together, yeah. right? Because I feel like that's that's a big thing that's lost on this community, especially the way the digital age is going. And I want to get people out of the digital world. Back so you're casting world. a digital net into the digital matrix ocean yeah. of fishing people I want you to out of there yes. and get them back into reality with real dudes. I want you to pick your phone up so you can put your phone down. That's what it's I like want. from the Matrix. Yeah, you ever see that? Oh, He's yeah. going yeah. into the Matrix to get them guys out of the Matrix. Absolutely, to save their ass. <laughs> yeah. dude. That's awesome. I didn't even think about that way. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, I, that's that's what I'm all about too, man. 100. percent Is uh, I, I I mean, just the simple act of like getting together with barbecues and shit can save America. Tailgate. If you get them out of the the living room, dissolve the land. You know yep. what I mean? I'd love to go to a Carolina Panther game. A what? A Carolina Panther game. But oh yeah. How yeah. do I? How do I, am I going to go by myself, you know? Yeah, no, so. I'm going to find other people, yeah. and we're going to go get together, we're going to go tailgating, we're going to have a good time, and go. That's what it's about. And so many apps have tried this, and they've done niche-type apps. Here's just a tailgating app. Here's just a snowboarding app. Here's just a skiing app. Yeah. No. We're for everything. It's Anyone universal. and everything. Absolutely. So, like, basically, you got the whole, like... So there's these other apps where you can get cars or whatever to pick you up. This deal is a nice solution to that because it can actually link up with dudes that we all like, just like carpool together with dudes yeah. that actually like. So more, right, well, I think on that note, what we are, we're not really a competitor to Uber as to what you're alluding to. We're more along the lines of, hey, here's an event going on. And this yep. event is, for example, I live, let's say I lived in New York City and there's a West Point Spartan race going on. Everybody knows it's about a, you know, an hour long drive. If I find other New Yorkers that are also interested, because you're not doing a Spartan race in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. but let's be real. It's a, it's a concrete jungle, it doesn't happen. You're gonna have to go up to West Point and do it. So if you wanna go, you're gonna have to link up with other Spartans, and instead of doing an hour or two hour Uber ride, no, I'll link up with five other Spartans, okay? At that point, we can all car ride together, and that way I'm gonna save money, pay for parking, yeah. we all split all the costs evenly, and have a great time. Well, like at the Guardian match, or the shooting matches that go on, there's yes. dudes that like, well, they'll all drive their own pickup trucks and then they'll get there and they'll have their own rooms. I mean, it can well, be pretty Exactly. When we were first coming up with this concept, so I do a lot of three gun shoot uh, competitions and we're looking on Facebook. He saw it actually, uh, someone posted on there hoping would someone say, hey, I'm going out to Colorado to do a three gun shoot. Is anyone else going so we can split freaking uh, lodging? It's like, Pfft. Well, don't worry, Brady. We're coming up with a platform in about you know six months. You know, <laughs> it's, it, everyone's always trying to find a way to cut their costs when they travel. Absolutely. But it's now you can do efficient. it with others that want to do the exact same thing you're doing. Oh yeah, we yeah. see it all the time. Uh, hey, uh, I'd love to go golfing this weekend. Uh, anybody down? And it's as good as putting a piece of paper on a bulletin board. <laughs> Hope you someone know, tears off the number. In the quad, <laughs> you know, hoping that somebody sees it, tears off a number like Micah's saying, and, and hoping that people go. No. No, we. This is the watering hole. This is where you go to find other people to do what you want to do. When that's you usually do. the simple solution to dudes that get seriously depressed is they just can't find those guys, right? Because there's too much noise in the background. You know, there's too much stuff going on, and there's too much peripheral. There's too much information. So to be able to focus in and find those other guys in a simple, easy way is usually the key. I mean, is yeah. that not correct? Absolutely, simple, easy. Effective. That's so, what is. to get back to the the main theme of the video, the winning the hidden or the secret war, the challenge when they get home is a big part of it is just being alone with their 
thoughts. Exactly. exactly. When you yeah. get alone with your thoughts and you feel like you don't have anybody to reach out to and you don't feel like anyone can relate. Look, all these things are great. The hotlines are great. The, yeah. the counselors are great. The programs at the military yep. and at the Veteran Affairs offers are great. But it's not a 100% effective solution. And all we're offering is another tool to add into that tool bag, that toolkit, that yeah. utility belt Kind of, of a fighting. hub of organization. Absolutely. Yeah. And when we do that, what we're allowing is for a connection piece veteran to veteran right that's the big thing i've talked to so many different guys uh i won't name names but you know a lot of buddies that have transitioned out and they found themselves in that dark hole as well and i talked to him i told him about what we're doing and, he, and this one guy he said hey man he was like I, I can't believe you guys are even talking about this he was like because i myself found myself in a dark hole like that and i found myself linking up with another veteran who was also in a dark hole as well and if we don't hear from each other within 48 hours then we're driving to each other. And, and the key here is that, look, counselors go home, therapists go home, but your friends, they don't go home. Exactly. Your friends are always there. You can call your counselor all you want. Maybe she'll answer. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, who knows? The point is that you're making friends for life. Maybe you're only doing two years of therapy, but this is somebody 20 years down the road because you guys link together through Caillou that it becomes your best friend that you know because you guys went through the same struggle that you guys can stay connected and save each other. Digitally facilitating organic relationships, just like in the old days when guys used to band together. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm you really thought you'd get away with it, big guy? Alpha 9 or Tango 1 3, this is Pirate Hunter King. Indexing this solution to 7. What in the hell are you holding? Target's got good cover. It's a danger space for a headshot at TRP 5. It's me and my pals. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. You're shorter than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> These are super.